Hey guys, if you have a chessboard and you put one piece of rice in the first square and then double it for the next square and then keep doubling it, you'll have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. If you keep doubling for every single square, eventually the pile of rice is going to start getting some height to it. And the question I have is how tall is this tower of rice going to be on the last square? So how tall do you think it's going to be? If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, one. First step, we got to find out what is the volume of a single grain of rice. And it says here it's 0 0.029 milliliters. So the volume of a single grain of rice is 0 0.029 centimeters cubed. Now, how many grains of rice are on this last square? We start out at one, which is two to the zero, and then two, which is two to the one, four, which is two to the two, eight, which is two to the three, and we're going to go two to the four, two to the five, two to the six, two to the seven. And by the time we get through the entire chessboard, it's going to be two to the 63rd power grains of rice. And two to the 63 is this number right here. That's going to be about 9.2 quintillion grains of rice. And we're specifically interested in the volume of this many grains. So to get that, we're going to multiply this number times the 0 0.029 centimeters cubed. And we can plug this into a calculator, and in scientific notation, it's 2.67 times 10 to the 17th centimeters cubed. So this is going to be the total volume of the rice stacked on our final square. And this looks important. Let's put a box around it. Now we got to figure out the size of our final square. So if we look up how big is a chessboard, it says here, the World Chess Federation recommends chessboard squares be between two and two and a half inches. So let's go in the middle of that range and have the side of each square be 2.25 inches. And then since our volume is in centimeters, let's change this inches into centimeters. There are 2.54 centimeters in each inch, so we're going to multiply our 2.25 inches by this conversion and figure out what that's equal to. The inch on top and bottom will cancel each other out. So all we need to do is multiply 2.25 times 2.54 and that gives us 5.7. So the length of a side of a single square on our chessboard is 5.7 centimeters. This also looks important. Let's put a box around it. Now let's look at our stack of rice. The volume of it is going to be length times width times height, where the length is this right here, the width is right here, and the height is right here. So we know that the volume of our rice stack is 2.67 times 10 to the 17. And that's going to be equal to the length, which we know is the side of one of the squares. That's going to be 5.7. And then the width will also be another side of the square, so that'll be another 5.7. And last, the height is what we're solving for, so we'll leave that as h. Next, we can divide both sides of the equation by 5.7 times 5.7. On the left-hand side, that gives us 8.22 times 10 to the 15. And on the right-hand side, these cancel out, leaving us with just h. So this right here is our height in centimeters. Technically, we're done, but I don't know how big 8.22 times 10 to the 15 centimeters is. So let's convert it to kilometers. There's one kilometer per 100,000 centimeters, so we can multiply our distance times this conversion ratio. So these centimeters are going to cancel each other out, and we end up with 82.2 billion kilometers. That's a tall pile of rice. It would reach all the way to the sun 550 times. How exciting.